Hello everybody, happy Tuesday. Sorry we had some things come up and I was not able to get this up for you yesterday. It's not starting the month off <laughs> very well, I know, but it was just some things that we couldn't control. Um, last minute things that we had to do with William as he's getting ready to head to Finland and we just had things that just came up and I just was not able to film. So today is a pantry and freezer uh, tour and then day in life will happen again <laughs> tomorrow. So let's just go on and start. Here is our freezers and our pantries. All right, so I'm gonna start with our main fridge and pantry. This is one in the kitchen that is like the use all the time stuff. So just start in the bottom. I've got some oil down here, potatoes and onions. Then here is just some chips and different things like that. There's ice cream cones, some uh, animal crackers, and vanilla wafers, that kind of stuff. There is the Oreos I did put up here so they can just grab them when they want. This is rice and beans and back there is more bulk rice and i've got big tubs of this naked peanut butter peanut butter powder that's just some black beans and then some cocktail peanuts craisins and um, i only have one of these left kate loves these little seaweed snacks and then more these are really mostly baking type stuff here so i got cooking spray, we got some Nutella, some tahini back there, some different grains, flour, we got some coconut, peanut butter, just very basic stuff, some honey. And then up here is the kids love hot chocolates. We have these little mini marshmallows for hot chocolates, some chocolate chips, there's some hot chocolate, some nuts, powdered milk, they use that to make peanut butter balls, some more flour, some sugar, some sh other sugar, coconut sugar, cacao powder, that type stuff. And then up here is cereals and oatmeal. So there's some instant cream of wheat, Brooke eats that all the time. And then I have some puffed rice, puffed millet, a seven grain cereal, and some love crunch, uh, some oatmeal back there, are just a few other great nuts, kashi, shredded wheat, fruit loops, raisin brands, cinnamon toast crunch. That's that's about it. That's about it for our upstairs pantry, the one that we just kind of grab and go. And then our inside freezer, that's right here. Um, this is where we have our vegetarian and vegan options. So we have buffalo chicken patties. We have veggie grillers. Uh, some garden ground beef. Little sausages. Some frozen tofu. Some morning star bacon. So these little chickenless strips. That is some more grillers. And then on this side is our meat options. So we've got shrimp and crab and more shrimp and um, some tenderloin some breakfast sausage sorry it's going off some turkey sausage some ground chicken i do have a couple of these corn dogs i'm actually about to make that from charles now for lunch we have some ground beef little smokies more ground beef more shrimp some flounder some pork chops and some ground turkey there. And there's more outside. Some catfish is also in there. And then the bottom part here is, that's the dog's ice cream. We got some ice cube trays, some different nuts. I just keep them in here to keep them fresh. So we got a variety of nuts here. And then this side is fruits and vegetables. So just a bunch of different frozen fruits and frozen vegetables. That's like all corn right there. But <laughs> you got there a lot of corn. Uh, this is the end of my spinach from my garden that I just froze. And yeah. so that's it for the inside freezer. All right, and here is our flow over freezer. 
Now we are working on emptying this freezer out because if you look on the bottom here, is everything stuck in ice down here because it is has like a little water leak. Now we've had that happen before, so if we empty it, Charles knows how to fix it. This is a very old freezer. We got for like $100 off somebody who was moving probably 10 years ago. <laughs> it's a very old freezer. Eventually, yes, we will have to get a new one. But we are fix it and use it as long as you can kind of people. So that's what we're doing. This is a popsicle bucket. It just has all different kinds of popsicles. These are just some little date balls that I make that uh, are a great little snack. They have like mint and dates in them. Up here is some puff pastry sheets and some shells. And then these are dates. This box is almost gone. I know you guys are gonna say, you have dates in your freezer forever. This box is almost gone. And this one is almost still full. We just, I don't know why, but we didn't eat a ton of dates this last year. So, uh, you know, I'm doing more though of the dates now because we absolutely love dates. And then I have a little bit of meat out here. I have two whole chickens and a thing of chicken thighs here, a little bit of fish, some more shrimp, some cod, salmon, and some Pacific white whiting. And then here is kind of some breakfast items. So just some different hash browns and shredded hash browns and then like the little round ones. Sorry, things are falling as I'm trying to show you. Okay, and then here I have French toast sticks and a bunch of different waffles. The kids love to grab that. Then I have some fruit that doesn't fit in the inside yet. We have some frozen bananas. We make tons of smoothies and banana ice cream. I have a big bag of blueberries and a small bag of blackberries. There is some ice cream out here, strawberry, which Luke will eat, and some vanilla. They like to make sundaes all the time. And then we do have these Morningstar Farm sausage, egg, and cheese sandwiches. And then down here is more vegetables. So I just got some pepper and onion blend. Sometimes that's nice when you're just kind of feeling lazy. Some stir fry, tons of broccoli and kale and cauliflower. Again, another bag of corn. <laughs> I got through so much of that and some chopped onions. Then in the door, I have more of my nuts and seeds um, here. Oh, I forgot I even had that. That's a apple cake. And some chocolate for when I make candies, candy making. Then this is for peanut brittle. It's some raw Spanish peanuts. Uh, let's see, ground flax, sunflower seeds, Brazil nuts, pumpkin seeds, hazelnuts, and then more veggies here just a bag you know a bunch of different ones and then this is some of the pre-packaged type freezer meals so just some pizza from when we ordered pizza we had some left some ravioli charles actually wants me to make him that tonight these little beef and bean burritos we've got a hot pocket a little cheese pizza sometimes brick and ash like that and then we have some little caesar pizza down there for when luke needs it and then we have juice different juices and these um, little sorbets here and some sorry some sorbets here and then two packs of dry yeast that's it for my outside freezer all right so here is a look at my pantry downstairs it does go back that way um, I have a little light here I'm trying to use to kind of help you guys see it is kind of dark in the basement um, over here is some spices and then everything else is pretty much over here so I guess let's just start at the top shelf up here I have protein powders and like BCAAs and some tea and those are some kind of hydrate drinks kind of like a Gatorade and then V8 Fusion, some powdered, or I guess instant coffee, some lemonade, some lemon juice, and some coffee. Then we'll come down here. Um, these two shelves here are just kind of baking. So I have big bags of sugar, I have a bunch of baking soda, 
cornstarch, salt, and um, baking powder, Jiffy corn mix, and then I also have just some corn meal back there, and then I have quite a bit of all-purpose flour. Over here I have bread flour, and that does go back quite a bit, and then I have some powdered sugar, and let's see if I put the light down here for a second. Um, I have some tea sugar here, almond flour, coconut flour, stevia, some um, coconut sugar, cocoa, unsweetened cocoa for baking, cacao powder, and then I have some chocolate chips here. These are just some white chocolate chips and some semi-sweet. And then this one I have honey, agave, and I have some molasses back here. I have a big tub of gochujang, and um, we love gochujang here. I add it to a lot of stuff. It is a red pepper paste. If you can see, that's kind of what it looks like up there. Uh, it just, it's wonderful. <laughs> we just love that stuff. Some corn syrup, I use that for candy making. And then just some various stuff. I have some purple sweet potato flour here, some matcha. I have some colored tapioca. I have rice vinegar. These are um, bonito flakes, and I use that to make dashi. And some rice paper here for like spring rolls. Some coconut aminos. Down here is some um, marshmallow cream. That is for when I make fudge. Some mini marshmallows. This is some snacky stuff. Animal crackers and some uh, vanilla wafers. <laughs> My brain wasn't working there for a minute. Some protein bars. These are Charles's. And there is a bunch of them. He goes through these like crazy. Uh, these are just Aldi brand peanut, almond, and dark chocolate. He just absolutely loves those. Some um, just popcorn for popping in the air fryer or air popper. Some cashews, mixed nuts, and some sunflower seeds. And then down here, I have some graham crackers, some saltines, a couple bags of pretzels some craisins, and then we get into my oils, olive oil, MTC oil, some coconut oil, some uh, olive oil spray, and then big thing of peanut oil for frying, and some vegetable oil for baking. Down here is my bags of rice. I have three big bags of rice, and then I have some yellow rice and some rice aroni. In here is bulk uh, beans, so I have three big bags of lentils and then I have some chickpeas, pintos, black beans, red lentils. And then over here I have some ramen in that bucket. That's the kids love their ramen. And then I'll just kind of go up. I only have one soy milk so I'll definitely need more of that. And then I have some bouillon, better than bouillon, some other vegetable stock flavoring, some other um, soup flavoring panko breadcrumbs and then here is just some brownie mixes and cake mixes the kids like to have those to just kind of make it when they want to make brownies or cakes um up here i have this is called uh tempura batter mix if you guys can find this this stuff i love it you just add really ice cold water and mix this together and it is a wonderful fish uh frying like a uh, coating it's just it's wonderful and some Kodiak cakes for flapjacks and waffles. And then here is a bunch of stuffing. I think there's four boxes of stuffing. Then some taco shells, some mac and cheese. One box of hamburger helper. And two packages of corn tortillas. And that's some instant tapioca. Then here is the noodle shelf. <laughs> noodle and pasta shelf and yes we we have a lot of that the kids love pasta we all love pasta here so there's um just all kinds of different ones and lots of rice noodles to make like um asian style dishes so good here's some japanese salmon noodles there's udon noodles and just all kinds these are buckwheat noodles just so many kinds of noodles 
And then, um, I already showed you that shelf. So then we'll move over here. Okay, so up top over here in this aisle we have, or the shelf, we have some instant cream of wheat, some oats, quick cooking and old fashioned, some crispy rice. Those are great for making rice krispies and just having cereal. And then some frosted flakes. This is some quinoa pop. It's like cereal. Um, Cheerios, corn flakes. Looks like I've got the pumpkin seed and flax granola. Some fruity pebbles. Some fruity pebbles. Um, birthday cake style. <laughs> and some raisin bran. And then all that's left on the top shelf down that way is just things like wax paper, parchment paper, um, cling wrap, that kind of stuff. Sandwich bags, that type of stuff. And then here I have nutritional yeast, I have cacao nibs, I have amaranth, oat bran, um, behind the amaranth I do believe is some millet, then arrowroot powder, some chia seeds, some wheat bran, some barley, and then on this shelf is I guess condiments and a few extras. There's some barbecue sauce there and some salad dressings, some bamboo shoots, water chestnuts, uh, some crab meat, some chicken, some tuna, mustard, mayonnaise, hot sauce, and garlic. And then down here we get into the canned beans. I have um, baked beans, pinto beans, lentils, chili beans, garbanzo beans but I only have three of those so I'll definitely need to get more of that. We love to use those for hummus and making chickpea salad sandwiches. Black beans, a lot of those. Navy beans, kidney beans, and cannellini beans. The shelf is just a whole bunch of different stuff that I have in jars. So bags of stuff that's been open. So there's goji berries back there. There is um, Honestly, tons of beans, coconut, some wheat berries, and uh, azuki beans. And then down here is two big tubs of wheat, uh, white wheat. And I have a wonder mill that I use to grind up the wheat and turn that into flour. All right, and then over here we have ketchup, um, quite a few ketchup there. And then I have some salsa and some chipotle peppers and diced jalapenos, some marinara sauce, pizza sauce, and sun-dried tomatoes. And then here is some um, tomato paste, mushrooms, artichoke hearts, a bunch of the enchilada sauce, and a bunch of green chilies. And then here is some tomatoes with green chilies, some whole tomatoes, diced tomatoes, and a bunch of tomato sauce. Down here I have coconut cream, coconut milk, condensed coconut milk, some tart cherries, cranberry sauce, some pears, some pumpkin, some cherry pie filling. And then this last one, I have some jams and jellies, some dill pickles, pepperoncinis, some olives, some spicy pickles and bread and butter pickles back there, and then some jalapenos. Here I have some fruit cocktail. Charles and Ash love to just open a can of fruit cocktail and eat it for a snack. Some peach slices. Um, pineapple crust chunks rings tidbits all the pineapple and um, some yams there some jackfruit the jackfruit we like to use as a alternative um sorry trying to move the light for you guys and uh, to meat for like a pulled barbecue sandwich and things like that some raisins unsweetened applesauce and a cinnamon applesauce. And then I have some cut green beans, some French style, some corn, some peas, some carrots, 
Then up here is peanut butter. I have um, cashew butter. I absolutely love that. Tahini. Again, we use that a lot for making our hummus. And then this is my favorite kind of peanut butter is the 100% peanut butter. <laughs> I love that. Kate loves that. Kids, they have rest, prefer this kind, even Charles. And then some almond butter. And then I also have a little bit of um, soups, some tomato soup and some cream soups for um, cooking. And that's a look at down here in the dark pantry. All right, so like I said, the freezer outside, we are um, trying to get that empty just so that we can do some repairs and then we will work on filling them back up, definitely with some frozen fruits, frozen vegetables, um, and things like that. So we will keep you in the loop on that as we share our weekly uh, grocery hauls with you guys. But that wraps up today's video. So we will see you tomorrow, a day in the life, see what we're eating, see what we're doing. <laughs> So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back tomorrow with a day in the life. Bye everybody. Have a great day or night wherever you are.